In this video, we're working on our next laboratory exercise, uh, Lab 24, Finding First Data Cluster on Bonnie Parker's FAT32 Deleted Partition. And we continue analyzing the structure of the hard drive using WinHex. I already started WinHex, and uh, I'm going to go open uh, the image file, Parker.001. And uh, as you recall, in WinHex, when you open the file, it just opens in this uh, binary uh, editor. So in order to be able to work uh, with the actual structure of the image, we need to click Specialist and uh, interpret image file as disk. So this is familiar view. And the first instruction tells us to go to physical sector 36.93.375, which is basically the beginning of the partition, uh, deleted partition on this drive, FAT32 partition. So we can do it um, uh, in a couple of ways. Um, one possibility is to click position and say go to uh, sector. Okay, so this will take us... Uh, directly to specific physical sector. So we can copy it from here, right? And just copy and paste and click OK. So this brings us to the beginning of partition two. Um, but uh, since this um, uh, program already interprets the structure of partitions, uh, we can go back to, um, say, um, boot sector, uh, for instance, or a partition table, right, which brings us back to sector zero. And uh, similarly, we can just click on this line because that's, that's of course, the same sector number where the second partition begins. So either way. And then the next uh, step is to click view um, and then template manager. Um, and uh, in this cho in, in this list, our choice is to select uh, uh, boot sector FAT32. Okay, because we already know that this is a FAT32 partition, and click Apply. So this brings us back to the boot sector of FAT32 system with all this information available. This uh, brings us back to the point where we left off in our previous laboratory, uh, B22, which explained how our forensic tools are able to follow existing data structures on disks to recover uh, a deleted partition. And as you can see, we continue to apply WinHex template view to display fields of FAT32 uh, volume boot record in a user-friendly format. So here we're going to continue exploring this FAT32 uh, volume and uh, locate the first data cluster, which contains the information visible to the end user in the um, uh, Windows File Explorer window, for example. And I'm curious what we're going to see in that allocated cluster. So this is the title of our laboratory exercise, finding the first data cluster. And so let's begin by simply answering uh, those questions uh, just at the beginning of our laboratory. So um, the first uh, step is how many bytes are in one sector? So on this file system, right here, right here in the first field, the answer is 512. And how many uh, file allocation tables are present? Number of FATs right here. So we have the answer. So we actually have two of them present. And uh, we already know these answers without even looking at the directory structure um, in this partition, just looking at the information available from the boot sector. Uh, so now um, uh, the idea is that assuming that the sector size is 512 bytes, which is true, and we're having these two file allocation tables present, we can now locate first data cluster uh, using the following formula. And so R here uh, would be um, uh, for the reserved sectors. Okay, so in our formula here, this is the value R. So reserved se sectors are just uh, the uh, chain of sectors reserved right next to the boot, um, uh, boot sector. And um, here, uh, right in this field, we have as many as 32 uh, sectors reserved. 
Okay, so the value of R here is uh, 32. We'll be multiplying it by 512. And uh, also, how many sectors are reserved for each file allocation table? So this would be an F value in our formula. An answer to this question uh, comes from the set of fields um, that are specific to FAT32, uh, which wouldn't be used on FAT16 or used differently on FAT16. So we're going to uh, copy this um, 1031. This is the answer. Uh, to um, the number of sector reserved for each file allocation table. And we have two of them on the system. So here we can use this formula to start our computation. I can copy this and bring up uh, just a scratch pad right here and copy the formula um, into this uh, scratch pad view like this. Okay, so we already know that uh, the value of um, reserve sectors is 32. So R here will be 32 uh, multiplied by 512. So we need to ca calculate this plus um, number F here, uh, sectors reserved for each file allocation table. So that's this number. And of course, multiplied by uh, 512 uh, times 2. So we can use our calculator and compute this. This value plus plus this value um, and that equals this and this is the number of bytes. Okay so essentially we just calculated location of the first data cluster on the system in terms of bytes, the number of bytes from the very beginning of this um, entire file allocation table, uh, file system partition. And uh, of course, if we want to compute what is the cluster number, we just uh, divide it by the size of, of the sector in bytes, which is 512. And that is again, using the calculator, uh, 2,094 sectors into the volume. So based on this information, um, we can say that um, the answer to uh, question number five um, is two. And uh, this is by definition, there is no cluster zero or cluster one on uh, uh, file allocation table. Uh, file system and the first cluster number is cluster number two so this is just by definition I don't have to do any computations um, so this is uh, where we try to say what is the location of first data cluster and this is uh, cluster number two Okay, so that's the first data cluster on the FAT system. So it's located this many sectors into the volume uh, from the location of the boot sector. So um, what is the sector number of cluster number two? And um, here, um, this is uh, right here. This is our answer. So we can just copy and paste. So this is the actual sector number inside FAT32. Right, uh, but at the same time, this does not directly correspond to a uh, physical sector number on the drive. So the next question is, what is the physical sector number on on the drive? So here we can see that partition two containing FAT32 starts at this value. So um, uh, what we need is um, basically specify that we can take this number, which is the um, uh, sector number of the volume boot record, right? And add 2,094 sectors. Uh, so that's relative to this physical sector number. So this is sector number of VBR, and that would be this value. So just this plus this equals this. Okay, so this is the answer. And uh, that's the location of the uh, physical sector uh, of the first data cluster on this specific system. And let's be specific in our notes. So we can say that this is physical sector number 
um, right here just to be sure that our notes uh, look good and uh, you can use specific formats for your notes i always have a notepad open where I just write down my manual computation so that i if if i experience some kind of difficulty with the, the result i can always go back and review uh, all of my computations and now i will simply take this value which we computed already go and close this template and go to position and go to the sector uh, on disk remember right now in this view all uh, go to sector is relevant to the beginning of the drive all right so click ok and uh, so what we end up seeing here in this winhex detail panel so it shows us that this is partition number two and the relative sector number 2084 so this is consistent with what winhex how winhex interprets um, all of this information so we have some consistency here so i don't think we made any mistake so this is still uh, that basically is the um, um, physical sector number and this is the relative sector number and uh, our computations are accurate with the with respect to the beginning of partition number two on the system.